There is a lot of information on the internet about bald eagles, and once I get started researching a topic, it's really hard for me to stop. This is Janet Adams for Bald Eagles Naturally with an educational video about dominance behavior, mating and bonding behavior, and the question on everyone's mind, is it B-O-W-L or B-O-L-E? Let's start with dominant behavior. We all pretty much know who rules the roost in bald eagle nests, the female. They are bigger and louder and want their bonded male mate to live by their rules. Reese Lukai Jr., a research associate for the Center for Conservation Biology, stated in February 20th, 2012, Throughout this and previous seasons, we have observed the female eagle exercising dominance over the male. This evening, we were treated with a visual display of this behavior as the female spread her wings and male and the male bowed to her shrill calls. In response to a viewer's comment, Reese said this is absolutely normal and natural behavior and has nothing to do with egg laying. So have we seen this behavior in the First Lady? I believe that we have. On February 22nd in the DC Nest live chat, an admin made this statement. We saw something interesting behavior from TFL around 7.43 this morning. If you didn't see it, rewind. A chatter responded, have never seen that move before, the one this morning. And the admin said, we first noticed her do that in 2018. We checked our logs and she did it on March 17 and she laid the first egg on March 25. So we are hoping that it is due to hormones and that she is in her fertile period. If by chance this type of behavior does reflect that the First Lady may be laying eggs soon, really only time will tell as there's really no scientific evidence that I could locate on the internet that would support such a statement. And in response to another chatter, the admin stated, Tad, we are calling it mating simulation. We don't know of a specific term for it. And I would agree with that because I searched everywhere on the internet and could find nothing. And she further says she did it last week on February 15, too. Here is the behavior being discussed from February 15th, followed by the February 20th behavior and February 22nd behavior. Then on February 23rd and 24th, we see a different kind of dominating behavior exhibited by the First Lady. In this first clip, after mating, she will sidestep over to Mr. P and give him a little nudge and some foot tapping with vociferous vocals along with a wing slap.
and he nicely ignores all of her vocals and flies off to more than likely find a nice stick as a gift for his mate. And on February 24th, we see similar behavior after mating. First Lady draws closer to Mr. P and with vocals extends a nice little foot slap. Next, are there other signs or showings of dominance and or bonding? In these next clips, the First Lady and Mr. P are in the nest together and the First Lady puts the nudge on Mr. President. The experts say that this nest touching and soft vocals are a type of bonding. Even the nipping of beaks and feathers is a type of bonding. All of this being done to further cement the relationship. I saw recently another statement on live chat. A chatter was asking if this behavior occurred last year. However, the mod got the wrong answer. If you watched my videos last year on Eagle Behavior, you would have seen this clip from February 10th, 2019. by Joseph Castro on July 4th, 2016 in Live Science. He reported, as the pair gets closer to copulating, they will ramp down their aerial displays and instead focus more on intimate behaviors such as sitting shoulder to shoulder, sitting in the nest structure together, preening and calling to one another. When the female is ready, she will try to solicit the male to mate with her, such as by calling to him and bowing. As to mating, we know it takes a successful mating to make eggs, as well as the female must be in her fertile period. It's not always easy to tell the difference between an attempted mating and a successful mating. But in this next clip, it looks pretty successful to me. You'll notice that the first lady bends way over to put her tail up in the air so that it will make it easier for Mr. President to kind of slide down so that their cloacas touch one another. Finally, is it called the nest bowl, B-O-W-L, or nest bowl? B-O-L-E, or maybe nest cup, or nest cavity. Let's see what the experts say. A well-known biologist, Peter Nye, says that the correct way is B-O-W-L. 
It looks like Journey North prefers soft cup or nest cavity or even bowl, B-O-L-E. Some prefer B-O-L-E, some prefer B-O-W-L, and the American Eagle Foundation, Foundation says bowl or cup, B-O-W-L. So I guess that's the consensus. Safe to say, I think you can call the little circular area where the eggs are laid just about anything that you want. Bowl, bowl, cup, cavity, you choose for yourself. And in closing, I just wanted to show a couple of pretty cool fly-ins by our famous couple. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed my presentation. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, Bald Eagles Naturally. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.